بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل الأغضة من لساني يفقه قولي Hello brothers and sisters, how are you? Uh, in this lesson I would like to show you uh, a tip of uh, how we can connect uh, or how we can make a connection between three uh, elements for example this have uh, this one is uh, uh, the hatch between this one and that one I will, I will show you uh, in my last project which is this this one is a furnace factory uh, I face some problems uh, or some some kind of it's not a problem uh, actually uh, some kind of connections and needs needs more experience uh, and thanks for God I, I did everything as here like this connection here uh, I had uh, this one with the truss and also with this this one I will show you uh, in the uh, oh, advanced file uh, these kind of connections sometimes make you a problem and uh, while you are making or working with like these huge projects uh, you, you, you may face some problems but uh, everything has uh, its solution uh, as is here this is a very huge uh, uh, project uh, there are many many elements inside uh, so let's go started um, yeah, let's get started into uh, advanced steel as you hear um, and this is a connection uh, first of all let me uh, uh, make uh, or hide the, the layers of the uh, pyramids and sagros uh, for this one maybe I want, don't want to fly brace I want to just make it smaller as is here I have uh, I made uh, some uh, layers right uh, so I added some, some layers and I make some layers so uh, I could uh, hide them uh, easily anyhow anyhow I think uh, I uh, hide the, 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 the elements that I want and now became uh, we can we can see it very well as here this is the connection between uh, this one and that one is here guys uh, there's a pro, uh, the, or there's a, a thing that uh, if you look at if you look at this one if you look at this one you see uh, if you look at this point what we have we have uh, this one this is the connection between this this uh, kind of the, the, the truss member which is the vertical one and with this one while, while we are making a connection with this one of course these two uh, will neglect the hole and it will not drill, drill this one so what's the solution for that I will show you in this lesson it's not only this one uh, there are many other uh, c connections which is not standard connection so how, how I could solve this this one I want to, I want to share with you uh, the knowledge of that for example uh, of course this one uh, is uh, another connection if you look at here uh, the column is uh, drilled and uh, this piece of uh, profile the, the beside one uh, this one which is the for the column truss this one as well is uh, drilled if you look at this one uh, so how we can get uh, these kind of connections in advanced steel and uh, what we want we want to be we can we can make it or modify it uh, later so uh, let me start uh, I will make uh, two uh, um, two elements one vertical one horizontal just like this one and one one uh, this one it's not it's inclined or uh, horizontal it's the same thing there is nothing uh, different between these two so uh, when I want to make it I want to uh, for example I will say 1000 millimeters of course I'll rotate it by 90 degrees just to be exactly like like that one and maybe uh, IP 400 and another time I want to make uh, IP 400 this time let's say 2000 just like this and again uh, I can uh, rotate it and I will move it by 1000 so it's to be in the middle and I will make another one or another beam uh, let's start from this point 
by something like uh, 3000 maybe it's just like uh, just for uh, making this tutorial you see and we can go to the shade or uh, real uh, shade sorry uh, this one I think uh, here we have this problem with this one I, I can't solve it no problem I can just bring it here and after that uh, move it by uh, 1000 I think because it was 2000 yeah I think now is is very good okay uh, that's very good and uh, I will make uh, this one higher and go to the other position so uh, it can get for the both of uh, this one okay first of all what I have to do I have to make a connection between these two and make it one assembly uh, because you see here the profile goes go inside the, that profile and it's impossible in uh, uh, in reality so I will go with uh, I can I, can I use this one I can try uh, I can try this one and maybe this yeah this here I can uh, uh, use this connection but you see if you uh, go to this side and we can see the parameters so I will uh, and go to advanced properties and I will go to the parameters as here the web distance is uh, 10 I will make it 0 and of course wells the first of all I want to make it wells and the web is site so I want to make it shop uh, so it can go uh, or it can weld, weld this one together after that to the parameters uh, as here number 3 is uh, again 10 I will, I will make it 0 just like this uh, again this one is 20 I will make it 0 but uh, we have to not forget that uh, if you go to the wireframe and I, if I double click here uh, and I will change this one uh, to the exact section you see now this profile is go inside uh, this one so what I have to do I have to go to and give it an, uh, a corner finish and I'll say a straight one uh, of course what I want to I want to make it for example 25 millimeters it's just like this that's very good okay after that if we check this one is, is one assembly or not uh, of course it's one assembly uh, let's go uh, make this one yeah you see now it's uh, this one is uh, shown only a uh, select assembly so now we see that this one is one assembly okay so that can just go back or I can just uh go to like this here yeah as i said yeah that is very good so uh i will go to shade it and i will make this connection so how, how can i how can i do it how can i do it um uh, the first of all well i have two things uh i have to be sure that the the end uh one the end of this one is the, the, the exactly the same position for this one the same position or uh, in the same alignment let's say the same alignment okay and it's not go inside or outside so this is the first point the second point is uh, I'll go to the the uh, connection valve and I will go for example I want to uh, use this one I will select this one you see I will select this one and this one is just like this as you hear I have uh, uh, some other things I'll check check the, this one so is it is it okay or not is it okay or not but uh, you see just like uh, this one is not drilled right I have a, I have a hole here okay I don't care I just want to uh, go to specify and go to go to these parameters and specify the parameters that I want uh, this for example this one 400 uh, whatever, whatever you, can, you, can, you want you can uh, make it uh, for the amp light is the the uh, 50 millimeters it doesn't matter uh, and uh, the gauge is the 120 maybe uh, or 100 if uh, it's near yeah I think 100 is uh, quite enough and uh, go to the bolt groups here here's the the, the, the tube starts uh, what I want I want to be the first one is to be 50 at the top 
and after that the distance between them let's say 60 or maybe 80 and just be really sure that how much I have here look just how much I have here uh, uh, this one is IP 400 so the the, the, the flange width is, the flange width is 120 180 sorry uh, we will go to check this one 180 you see it's 180 so if I want to put uh, this one at the middle how can I change it the first of all I will I will go to sorry if I change uh, select this one right click advanced change properties and uh, let me hide this one for the for now uh, the end plate what I go uh, you see here I have five point uh, minus point uh, five millimeters and I will make it zero or, or at least ten I will make it zero for now for for, for some purpose okay um, uh, as you hear, uh, one hundred, uh, we see that we said that uh, is uh, this one is zero. Now we can add the bottom as well. We can make it this one zero. But uh, I want to show you something. Okay, for the bold group, what I, I want or what I have the first one, the first one from this point, from this plate uh, into this, this one is uh, fifty. Okay, so I, ha I have this one. 180 minus 50 minus 50 I have uh, 80 so what's this minus 50 minus 50 so uh, if I select this this uh, the, between these two is 80 the first globe yeah it will be exactly in the middle so 80 from this point to that one 50 from this point to the the face of this one 50 is so now I have 100 20 and these two holes are exactly in the uh, center in the center of the of the of this this one okay and after that i can add uh, as much as group i want for example let's say again 80 and this one maybe uh, three or four four groups and the, the distance between them if uh, i want i can make it 80 sorry 80 uh, or if not maybe i can make it 120 I think 120 is, is, is quite enough uh, or maybe this one um, instead of four I can make it five yeah just like this is uh, it's according to design right okay so what's the solution uh, if you if you look at this uh, this uh, column is all of the columns are uh, drilled and we have we don't have any uh, kind of problem with that one but how about this two for these two what I'm doing I'm just just going uh, with this one okay I'm just going with the, this one and uh, I will uh, make this one a uh, UCS or I make this one view just like this after that uh, go to it go to wireframe and select this uh, first of all let me change back the, the display type of this one to the standard and I will select this one and that one okay these two because I want to I want to drill this one uh, these two with a uh, hole or, or, or with a bolt so I will click from here from this point to that point you see here is the in with the same parameters if it's 20 or it will remain 20 and like uh, things like this if now if we look at this one you see now it's drilled uh, but uh, don't forget that we have a problem now uh, we have two bolts in each uh, in each plate all right we have two bolts at in, uh, in each uh, uh, plate on uh, this profile so what I'm doing I'm just go to remove this uh, the two of the original uh, uh, the two of the original uh, joint so I'll select one uh, element right click advanced joint properties okay so what I'm doing now uh, I will go to the bolt groups here you see here we have uh, 50 uh, and two, uh, 280 so we have 250s and 180 right we have all of these distance uh, 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 it will remove so so it means that 100 uh, 100 uh, for, um, 180 180 okay so if I, I make this this group zero I don't need any kind of bolts 
you see all the balls here is, is go go uh, upside but i don't want to do this one because here as you see here the start point is 80 so of course this one will go back to the uh, from zero and it's it's considered from the zero but what i'm doing now i'm just uh, say that uh, i was uh, i had uh, or i had 180 plus 80 which is mean which means uh, or which means 260 so i will say the first point is 260 and everything uh 260 or uh, i think it's not uh, uh yeah i think uh, i did a mistake 100 uh, maybe 240 or uh 220 uh, look look uh, i i was had a 50 right and 50 from the start point uh, and 80 uh, yeah at least 80 i always have this one so uh, 50 plus 80 uh, i was had 80 here right 80 so plus 50 plus 80 it should be 210 210 so uh, all of these are in the, exactly in the same position for for checking this one i'll go i just go back uh, to bring back the uh, two bolts here uh, the bolts here yeah now it's bolts is came back uh, what i'm doing just look at here and uh, shift right click uh, i will uh, make this one where is it where's that one yeah the bolt groups i will make zero this one just look at this point uh, first of all, I will make it 210 and make uh, this one zero. You see, it's going go back there or came back to the exact position. Now, if you look at, yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. We have uh, no problem with this one. So this one I wanted to uh, share with you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you very much.